Hello, this is Patrick Sheffield. I'm the author of the Makeup Artist Suite of beauty plugins available from Sheffield Softworks and FX Factory. Today, I'd like to do a quick demonstration of the Cover Up plugin. Cover Up is designed to simulate the application of foundation makeup or cover up by selecting some wayward skin tones and bringing them into line with the standard skin tone I've set. I'll also be reducing the shine on this young woman's skin. I'm demoing Cover Up in Final Cut Pro, but it also works in Apple Motion, Adobe Premiere Pro, and After Effects. I'll drag the plug-in from the Sheffield Softworks group onto my footage. The first thing I want to do is to switch the view from Final to Original so I can select my skin tones. Key Control allows you to choose the skin tones by color with the eyedropper or via the on-screen controls if you prefer. I'll now pick a color that's average for the colors I'd like to be affecting, so somewhere here in the middle of her forehead. Now I'll switch the view to Selection to see the selection mask. You can see the areas selected come through in color and the unselected areas are gray and blurred. I can adjust the selection mask with the sliders that affect the tolerances for hue, saturation, and luminance, and use the sensitivity slider to include a wider range of skin tones. The thicken slider makes more faintly selected areas stronger. I can also use soften to blur the selection mask. If needed, the dilate and erode, grow, and shrink the selection mask. Once I have the selection finished, I can switch the view back to original and select the skin tone I'd like for the cover-up. I'll choose something along the side of her nose here. Now I can switch the view to final and see the results. I'll bring the reduced shine slider up a little and you can see what happens to the shiny areas of her face. Adjust the hue closeness, saturation closeness, and luminance closeness to affect the colors within the selection mask. Turning the plug-in on and off shows what effect cover-up is having. This looks good, but I'd like to only affect her face, so I can use a limit mask to fix that. Before turning on the limit mask, change the view from final to selection, because the limit mask is not visible when the view is set to final. Turning on the Limit Mask checkbox makes the limit settings appear and unhiding them allows me to adjust the size, shape, and position of the mask to limit the processing to only her face. However, her face moves in this clip, so I could manually keyframe the position of the mask, but I'll turn on the Track checkbox and position it in the area around her eye. I can now use the limit offset to move the limit mask relative to the tracking area. Okay, I'll hit track and let the system do its work. Now the mask follows her face, but because the angle of her head changes and tracking only follows position, the limit mask isn't always where I'd like it to be. So I'll use some keyframes on the limit offset and angle settings to get a better matchup. That's working now. Okay, I can switch the view to final and I'm done. This has been a tutorial on the use of the Cover Up plugin from the Makeup Artist suite of plugins from Sheffield Softworks and FX Factory. Thanks for watching.